Yo, what's good all? Welcome back to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I'm talking a bit quieter than usual because I've got someone sleeping in the room above me, directly above me. Um, but we're still going to have the same quality gameplay as usual. Uh, guys, don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you like these sort of videos and if you like playthroughs in general really because we're going to be doing many more of these in the future. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, so we do have, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get there. Oh my God. Okay, let's start from here. We've got a quest here. I hope the mic level is pretty good. Wait, why can't I not go that way? Come on. Okay, I need to go straight. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it should work. <laughs> I don't know if it's below me or above me. Perfect. Almost done. Job done. Oh, is it under me? Oh no, here it is. Pick it up then. Okay, and the last one, where are you? I think it's this one here. So that one's easy. Easy, easy. So Dravosht is still standing. For now at least. You can swing a hammer. Oh no, is this something else? Oh. Yeah, this is not the same mission. Five. You're here. And the Akashic. Most of to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabozd would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Oh, they're gonna have beef. <coughs> oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? 
Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Hm. No, listen to me. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did. Yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Malkin, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Travosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosh is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. You, uh, ready for the off, then? Let's go. We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackthorn, you and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Ah, <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing. But they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gate as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. They won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? He talks like he's... He talks like a... Like in... Slang. What the hell is that? Alright. Which one of you is first? Now that we've upgraded it, whoa! You see how much damage it does now that we've upgraded it. Yeah. 
Why did they all bunch up? This is stupid. What the hell is that? Griffin. This move is insane. Is that it? Spoke too soon. Apparently not. <clears throat> Whoa, what is that? What the hell is that? They're not getting past me. Get him. Over here. Get him. Get him. Oh, it's quite strong this one. This one's quite strong.
Is this gonna kill it? Is this gonna kill it? Close. Yeah, it's dead. <coughs> it's dead for sure. <coughs> What? There we go. What did we get for it? Two forty ability points. Okay. I wonder if that's a notorious beast. Man alive. You're still in one piece. I slew as many as I could. As many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Oh, you do know. More will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. In what? No, we're not going to survey the area. <clears throat> Sid! <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly... I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the other floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you, so... Thanks. I... I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when for me it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. <coughs> but what you said earlier. It's <coughs> true. You'd have been the death of this place. Huh. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day. Because it's easy. And turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. <laughs> That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. <clears throat> I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare not let them down. Uh, fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The 
Master Smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. Please be a six sword. <clears throat> Cracked anvil. And this is a token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. Uh, there's a reason no one's picked that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin would be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome, as long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. He's gonna give a sick sword to me, I can't wait. The beast was charging at me and he threw. <clears throat> right. I have got one, two, two left. Let's go to this one first. Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not this guy. until the truth... Whoa, guys, do you know who this guy looks like? Do you know in Game of Thrones you've got the no-faced god who teaches Arya how to... The guy who worships the no-face god. I think he calls himself no one. He teaches Arya how to switch faces and stuff. He looks like that. I forgot his name though. Is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Okay. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Okay. A village built around an airship. Sounds like another loss. Fucking hell, it's all the way down there. Shit. Which road did he tell me to take? I 
Um, I can't go this way, can I? I think I'm going to have to go this way. That's the only way. So I need to go this way. Keep going straight. Time to fight. Okay. So we're in an undiscovered area. Very interesting. Okay, we're gonna do a full circle here. We're gonna take a left and then go all the way around and then double back. Yeah. Okay, now, what's in this corner? There's nothing here. Let him come up here and we're just gonna go down here. Sorted. And then we're going to go in this gap. Shit. This should kill him. What's this? Oh, we've got some sort of ring. Alright, let's see what sort of ring we just got. Oh, he's becoming sick. He's becoming sick. Ring of 
Demolitionist. Oh, that's whack. Nah. Dead. So we haven't been along this road yet. Why is there nothing here? Okay. You deserve a rest. <laughs> oh shit. Is that it? <clears throat> okay, let's go exploring. He keeps getting me. Okay, he's staggered. Yeah. <laughs> 
There he goes. Should have stayed in the past. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, <coughs> stranger. <coughs> Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions, thanks to them and to you. We were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. It's one thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey... I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. Okay, where are we going then? We need to go all the way up here. Returned, my lord. I collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. My thanks. I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided. <laughs> Had the others not chosen to complete their work, instead of saving their friends, were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose. These are dedicated. That purpose alone. Cyril. I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix. To have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort. That they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. If you will permit me to respond, our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute, and we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him. As first shield to the Phoenix, I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. Then we are of the same mind, and it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together. 
quest complete. Ice Age. Okay. So we are heading. <coughs> Wait, don't we have another one here? <coughs> okay, it's just... It's just this one here. I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. You are not. Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. <coughs> but if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two hmm. learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws, and they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are, won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud by finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Okay. How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. All right, so a league of outlaws. Sounds like okay. Some competition. Guys, we are gonna end the episode there. We are doing so many side quests. I think we're gonna have a bunch of things available at the hideaway, which give gives us ability points and that kind of stuff. Uh, I will catch you in the next episode. Please go ahead and drop a subscribe, like, all that good stuff. If you enjoy what you're seeing, take care of yourself. Peace out.